If you guys watched the last video on my bearded dragon, then you'd know that unfortunately he is sick. So the whole last video, again, check it out if you haven't seen it, was um, going to the vet because I did start noticing some symptoms that were concerning, such as not eating for a couple days and just being very lethargic and also a weird cough slash, yeah, it's like a weird cough swallow kind of thing going on. So the vet diagnosed him with two different kinds of parasites and one of them is really aggressive and it's hard to get rid of. <laughs> Love that for me. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I take care of my sick baby bearded dragon. Now I have not seen any videos on baby bearded dragons and how to take care of them when they're sick and baby beardies have a really hard time recovering from severe parasites. Adults have a lot easier time recovering from parasites, so this is all new to me. It's my first reptile, and I'm still learning along the way, but um, everything I'm going to be doing today is what has been recommended to me by my veterinarian. It's a herp vet that specializes in exotic animals, and so she knows about bearded dragons and has worked with them before. So it is about the morning time. The lights of my bearded dragon's enclosure usually turn on around 9 a.m. And because I am with my bearded dragon at least half the day, I know his routine pretty well, and I know that he poops within the first hour of the day and on his basking spot every time most of the time but yeah so he just went poop this morning it was not that much because he still hasn't eaten anything it's been like a whole week without eating except when we were at the vet they syringe feed him food and so now we got to start this cleaning process because when you have parasites you have to really deep clean and sanitize everything because you don't want the parasites to reinfect your beard dragon and keep the cycle going. So first up is we are going to give my beard dragon a bath and clean his vent where the poop comes out. Okay, here he is in his enclosure right now. I don't know if you can see his little tiny poop. It's really small. This is the smallest I've actually ever seen it. So um, probably not a good sign, but if he doesn't eat tomorrow, then I'm calling the vet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you just crawled right over it. Well, that's why we're giving you a bath, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to remove everything from the enclosure because we need to clean it and then put like bleach it, but it's going to be a diluted bleach and then air it out. So that's the only way to like really make sure that the parasites are off everything. Hi. He's like, no, not this again. I had to give him a bath three times yesterday because he pooped three times. Well, he peed twice, but. Hi, we have to give you a bath, I know. Come on. Here's your poop, it's right there. Try to support his little leggies. Okay, there he is. So, I'm gonna give him a 15 to 20 minute bath. So let me show you my little setup. Okay, welcome to the bathroom, AKA his little wash station. So we have a few things here. First of all, we have this tote with my shirt and a little rag. That's his blankie after. So I'm gonna put him in after because um, he can't go back in his enclosure since I'm going to be deep cleaning it. He's gonna stay in here for an hour. Um, then I have this cup to add more water in because the water just like slowly goes down the drain even though it's plugged. So I have to keep refilling it up, it's kind of annoying. And then we have some Q-tips that I'm going to soak in this organic cleaner that's meant for reptiles and that's what I'm gonna clean his vent with. Super fun, love that for me. I have this Repti Safe, which is water conditioner to get rid of the chlorine and other harmful stuff and also add some like good enzymes or whatever to help him. I think it's enzyme, I don't know. I also have this baby syringe with water um, in case I wanna like put some droplets on his head. He is shedding on his face a little bit, so water helps um, the shedding process. And then lastly, I have this thermometer gun thermometer gun that 
um, just like takes the temperature of anything. And I usually try to have this water around 90 degrees. They want it, they'd like it a little hot, but not too hot. So let's fill this up for him. You know this sound, don't you? He's like, ah! Yeah, you know that sound. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's, oh, 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 oh. He's oh. like, yeah, I know that sound, let's go. Okay, now I'm gonna add in a tiny bit of this conditioner. It's really, it's really. <laughs> and now you're going in there. Yes, you are. You're going in. Sorry. Sorry, I know you don't want to. He's like, done with the baths. Sorry, but you might have parasites on your booty. Into the water. Into the thick of it. <laughs> it's so funny to see this because it's just like, I have a lizard in my bathroom sink. I don't know what he thinks of the water. He just sits there like. <laughs> so they say he's like, um, soap and water to clean his vent. I don't know what kind of soap is safe for him, so I just use this one because I know that it's meant for him. So I'm just gonna take this Q-tip. He doesn't like it because it's kind of cold. Yeah, you don't really like this, don't you? Oh, 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 oh. He's never been this wriggly. Then I'm just gonna take it and clean his little booty. Or you can't really tell. Down with this bath, he's obviously not liking it. <laughs> but he's just chilling, he doesn't really move, he just sits there. <laughs> but we're gonna take him out now. I'm gonna wrap him up in this little thing, his little blankie, and then we're gonna get all of his enclosure stuff in the tub in this room and start cleaning it. Let's wrap you up in a little blankie, okay? Don't try to run away. <laughs> Don't try to run away. <laughs> Oh, he's going up my arm. <laughs> okay, we're in our kitchen. It's really nasty. We're trying not to show you, but it's real life. So, um, I got my big bucket over here. He's in his little uh, temporary home for now. And uh, the vet said to do nine parts of water to one part bleach. So, I'm gonna fill this cup with nine, nine cups and then one cup of bleach. And we're gonna mix it and start sanitizing. So all the things are taken out of the enclosure. Thanks to Spencer. <laughs> and now we're gonna start cleaning this. We're gonna start with the enclosure first so it's more time to air dry. We also opened up all the windows in our room to get more airflow. And I think I'm gonna turn on the air purifier too, maybe bring up a fan. Um, but I don't want all that noise running while I'm doing this, so I'll just do it after. So first we're gonna start off with just the normal scrub and then we'll do the bleach. Just gotta be extra, I guess. Also, usually every day after little my little dude poops, um, I clean whatever he pooped on with this um, immediately after I notice it. Um, and so I'm just gonna keep doing that, but twice a week I'm gonna have to do this whole process of deep cleaning, so that's really fun for me. <laughs> Make sure that there's no parasites. Parasites be gone. Get out of here. Okay, Spencer just scrubbed all of the enclosure stuff with just normal or organic reptile cleaner. Now we go in with the heavy stuff. So now it's time for the bleach. I just finished cleaning the terrarium itself with the bleach and then wiping it out and all that stuff. So now it's just air drying in the other room and we just have this left. So let's do it. Everything is all cleaned now. We're just waiting for them to dry. Spencer is working on cleaning the kitchen. Because now we're just like in the cleaning mood. We gotta clean Beardy's enclosure and ours. <laughs> so Spencer's cleaning up the kitchen because it did get a little bit messy over the past couple of days. And now, okay, a lot of it. It gets messy real fast. <laughs> um, but now what I'm going to be doing is taking out the old food from my Dubia enclosure. These are Dubia roaches. That's what I feed my bearded dragon and giving them some new food. So this past weekend, we actually cleaned out the whole crate, which is a little bit of a process. We ended up not filming it, but I do have a clip of us putting the Dubia roaches back in, so here's that clip. Dumping the roaches back in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a lot of the poop stayed in the container. It was disgusting. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, time to cool, not clean out, but to uh, give them some new food. So let me show you what it looks like. This is the little colony I have going on right now. There's almost, there's like about 100, 250 dubias in here. It just, you can't really see because they're all hiding in these egg crates. But I'm gonna remove all of the food. Okay, while we're waiting for everything to air dry and while our dinner lunch no, breakfast lunch cooks. I'm just gonna be chilling with little over here. He literally just has stayed in his blanket this whole time. <laughs> He's not moved out. But hopefully my body heat will help him. Um, I don't know, stay warm. All right, it's time to administer the medicine. So this is Ponzeril. I'm so saying that wrong. I have to give 0 0.02 milligrams. Um, by mouth once every 48 hours for two doses and then I repeat that in 14 days. So this is the second time that Beardy is getting this and it's so cute because I fill it up to literally this tiny, tiny line. Like it's not that much medicine because he only weighs eight grams. Okay, time to administer the medicine. Okay, so here he is. So we have a guitar pick that I have to use to open up his mouth so that Spencer can get the medicine in because he's not gonna want to open up his mouth. I'm just like put it. I'm gonna, I'm trying to get it. Yeah, right there, yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. You got all of it? Yeah. <sighs> this is probably the worst angle ever, but it's time to set the terrarium back up. It's all clean, it's all been aired out, and yeah, I'm gonna put the substrate down, which I just used some newspaper because it's easy to clean up, especially with the sick bearded dragon, and does not cause impaction like sand does. So let's just put some of this in. All right, the tank is all complete, completely clean, and I just added some food in there for him. Hopefully he eats it once again. He hasn't basically eaten anything in a week and a half, which is pretty scary. Um, and I'm gonna call the vet tomorrow if he doesn't touch his food. So, sorry about the glare, but here's his little basking rock with some blankets inside for him to cuddle with because Bearded Dragons actually do like cuddling <laughs> with blankets. Then he got some of his bugs, and inside I put some bee pollen because they love the sweet floral scent. So it kind of attracts them to the food. There's three dubia roaches and seven nutri grubs in there. Um, everything is pretty much clean. This is his collard greens, and I have some carrots, bee pollen, and calcium. Also, calcium's on the bugs as well, and some water. So it's all set up and ready for him to go inside. All right, here he is. Little dude, I'm gonna stick him back in so he can start warming up and basking and hopefully eating. Um, but, yep, going back into the enclosure now. Come inside, little guy. You can go inside now. <laughs> The lamp is nice and warm. Well, he's now in his enclosure. It is all clean. And like I said, I'm only gonna be doing deep cleans like this twice a week until he is completely rid of the parasites. Every time he does um, defecate on his rock though, whether that is poop or pee, I am going to clean the rock with just like the organic cleaner and also give him a tiny bath <laughs> so it's not on his skin, but I hope that this video was helpful for um, anyone who owns a beard dragon, especially a baby beard dragon. Um, this is a very scary and sad process to see them so sick, but I'm doing whatever, I'm doing all I can to help them feel better and I'm following the vet's advice and I'll keep you guys updated on how he's doing. But I just wanted to share this in case people were wondering how they would clean their own bearded dragon's tank if they were sick. <laughs> So, and this is um, specific to parasites, but cleaning in general. So anyways, thanks for coming along this little journey with us today. I hope you guys liked it. Thumbs up the video if you did. Subscribe if you are new. And comment down below if you have a bearded dragon and what its name is. And I will be doing a name reveal and gender reveal pretty soon. So that will be the end of this video. Bye!